The chief executive from the film studio behind a movie about the Chappaquiddick scandal has said he was pressured to dump the project. Byron Allen, the CEO of Entertainment Studios and the executive producer of Chappaquiddick, says, some very powerful people, tried to put pressure, on him, not to release this movie, they went out of their way to try and influence me in a negative way, he told Variety. I made it, very clear that I'm not about the right, I'm not about the left. I'm about the truth, Chappaquiddick refers to the island next to Martha's Vineyard which was the site of a 1969 car accident that killed a female companion of then-Senator Ted Kennedy. Late at night on July 18, 1969, Kennedy drove his car off a bridge with Mary Jo Kopechny, an aide to Robert Kennedy, in the passenger seat. Kopechny, 28, who was trapped inside the car as it sank in the water, drowned while Kennedy swam to safety. Kennedy reported the accident the following day after Kopechny's body was recovered. He denied he was drunk at the time of the crash. Kennedy, who was married, also denied he was having an affair with Kopechny. The then-senator pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of a crash causing personal injury. He received a suspended sentence of two months in jail. Chappaquiddick likely ruined any chance Kennedy had of being elected president. The film, starring Kate Mara as Kopechny, was screened in Beverly Hills this week before its nationwide release on Friday. Jason Clark, the Australian actor, portrays the late Massachusetts senator who died of brain cancer in 2009. Allen says that the film is a tribute to Kopechny, a long-forgotten victim who is due to receive her fair share of justice. She is one of the original. Mara said she was worried how Kopechny's family would react to her portrayal. The House of Cards star wanted to make sure we show her in a way that is respectable and that honors her in some small way, the director of the film, John Curran, says that the movie is faithful to the facts while taking Kennedy's version of events into account. Clark, who prepared for the role by jumping into the same waters off Cape Cod where the accident took place, told Variety he was apprehensive about the project. I was nervous on a, can I do it, level and I guess on a, should we do it, level, he said. We're not making propaganda. Here is this amazing, incredible, traumatic event which I think has had a massive impact, and still does, and affects the world we're in now 20th century American history, Clark said the indie film, which is in limited release on Friday, doesn't try to sensationalize the accident. He said the film sticks to the facts as much as we couldn't to play it out without scandalizing, without going to the tabloid of it, this man committed this act and he worked his way out of it with help and with his own moral journey to the other side, where he then became one of the longest-serving senators in history. I don't think, partisanship aside, you can't take away from what he did, the tragedy is believed to have sabotaged any chance of Kennedy one day winning the presidency. After Richard Nixon won the White House in 1968, it was widely assumed that Ted Kennedy, who had been in the Senate since 1962, would become the Democratic Party's nominee who would challenge the Republican incumbent four years later. Chappaquiddick was one of many painful chapters in the Kennedy legacy. A year after Ted Kennedy was elected to the Senate, his brother, President John F. Kennedy, was assassinated. Five years later, another brother, Robert Kennedy, was gunned down while campaigning for the Democratic nomination. Before the film's release, there is already criticism from those close to the Kennedy clan. Bob Shrum, a legislative aide to Ted Kennedy, said the film does a disservice to the late senator as well as to Kopechny. As Senator Kennedy wrote in his memoir, he was at the wheel and responsible for the accident that resulted in the death of Mary Jo Kopechny, and he carried the burden of that tragic accident every day of his life, Shrum told People. He also understood that his pain was nothing compared to that of an innocent young woman who lost her life and her family. There have been more than 20 books and countless articles written about the accident at Chappaquiddick, some attempting to find the truth and others trafficking in conspiracy theories. This movie pretends to do the former, in reality, it does the latter, which does a disservice both to the victim and the truth, but the film's director, John Curran, says the movie tries to delve further into a story where there's more to learn. Only Ted and Mary Jo know what happened and they're dead, Curran told the Boston Herald. The director said that, in the hours after the accident, spin doctors and crisis managers were called to assist then-Senator Kennedy, who seemed more intent on protecting his political prospects than informing the authorities of what happened. The advisors that descended on Hyannisport included Robert McNamara and Ted Sorensen, the heavy hitters in the Kennedy business, to protect his future and their legacies, Curran said. We're clearly there to fix this, not tell the police the truth. Nonetheless, Curran said that the film takes a sympathetic view of Kennedy, particularly in light of his traumatic past and his fragile state of mind at the time of the crash.
By all accounts Ted was not a happy-go-lucky guy at that point, suffering with bouts of depression and probably drinking too much, the director said. What really fascinated me with this story is beyond this story. We knew how large the Kennedys loom for our generation. Teddy in 1969, being 37, knew the whole country is waiting for him to run. He's the de facto father to Bobby's kids, and his father is incapacitated by a stroke. And he's an emotional wreck. The context is incredible. It's not to create sympathy for Ted, it's to understand a human being. One of the biggest reasons I had making this is to those who have blind spots specifically at Donald Trump. To ignore the best of Teddy Kennedy and just focus on Chappaquiddick is to ignore the ongoing criminal investigation of 